guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is nikki and today we are making pan seared scallops in a creamy lemon garlic sauce that sounds fancy that sounds sophisticated but i promise you it is so easy to throw together as always i will be leaving a list of all of the ingredients in the description box below but for this recipe you need some scallops i got these frozen from trader joe's and i just let them thaw out in the refrigerator for about four to six hours and then what you're going to want to do is pat them completely dry with a paper towel you're also going to need some garlic cloves that i'm going to mince a little later on some unsalted butter lemon some pepper salt extra virgin olive oil some heavy whipping cream some dry parsley flakes you can use fresh parsley as well and some chardonnay or your favorite white wine so let's go ahead and get started i took a skillet and i set my heat to about a medium high heat you want the heat to be really nice and hot for you to throw in your scallops and give them a nice sear so what i did was i added about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and then i went ahead and added in my butter and i just let it get nice and melty before doing anything else So once my butter had completely melted, I went ahead and added in my scallops one by one. Now to sear your scallops, you want to make sure that your pan is really nice and hot. Also, you want to make sure that you're not moving your scallops around, that you're just letting them get golden brown on each side, and also that you're not crowding your pot. If you're crowding your skillet or your pot or your pan, you are going to bring the temperature of the oil and the butter down and you don't want that because you do want them to get a nice golden brown sear. Once you've added your scallops in, you wanna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. So I just season them with a little bit of pepper and then just a little sprinkle of salt. And once we flip our scallops over, we will go ahead and season the other side. You're gonna to wanna to let these scallops cook on each side for two to three minutes. No more than that, if you overcook them, they will get rubbery. Once my scallops had cooked on the first side for about three minutes, I went ahead and gave them a flip and you can see how they are nice and golden brown. I went ahead and seasoned the other side with a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt and I just let them cook for another two to three minutes on the other side. Once they were done searing, I went ahead and took them out and set them aside on a plate and I just continued to cook the remainder of my scallops. Once you have finished searing all of your scallops, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and into the same skillet with all those yummy drippings on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and add in our minced garlic and we're just gonna move it around and scrape up all those little brown bits from the bottom of the skillet. That's just gonna bring a lot of flavor to the cream sauce that we are making. Next, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of our white wine. I'm using Chardonnay. However, if you don't wanna use any wine, you can substitute it with some chicken stock. Again, go ahead and just scrape this up and you're just gonna let this cook for about a minute until your garlic is nice and fragrant, but not too long because you don't wanna burn your garlic. Once it's nice and browned like this and your wine has reduced a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze in the juice from half of a lemon and then we are going to add in our heavy whipping cream. I use three quarters of a cup. Now you're gonna go ahead and mix this and bring it to a low boil and you're just gonna let it boil and simmer for a couple of minutes until it thickens just a bit. Go ahead and sprinkle in your parsley. If you're using fresh parsley, that works even better. And as you can see, once my cream sauce had been 
bubbling and boiling for a few minutes it had already begun to thicken up do keep in mind that once this cools down a bit on your plate it will be a thicker consistency once it is at the consistency that you like go ahead and add your scallops back in and turn your heat off your scallops don't need to cook anymore and like i said you don't want to overcook these go ahead and top it with a little bit more parsley just for garnish and serve this with some delicious bread on the side to mop up that cream sauce guys trust me you're going to want to drink that sauce so on this day i plated my scallops like i said with a piece of cuban bread on the side some asparagus risotto from the frozen section in Trader Joe's it is absolutely delicious and cooks so quickly and I also plated it with my honey garlic roasted carrots which I will have a recipe for coming very very soon once again guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you do give this recipe a try go ahead and tag me on Instagram I would love to see it I'll leave my Instagram right here if you like the recipe go ahead and leave a comment down below don't forget to give this recipe a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already i hope you guys all have a great week and i will see you all in the next video bye